Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am bleaching. It's in progress. This is the blue flash powder lightener. I use 20 developer. What I'm doing right now is touching up my roots and my last video, if you watched it, I missed a few spots. So like there was a few brown spots I had to cover and then I didn't have toner. There's a lot, okay? So I bought some toner, I bought some bleach, I'm gonna fix what I, I wanna say, what a mistake I made. It wasn't a mistake. Shit just happens and you just roll with it. So I'm gonna bleaching those spots I missed and then toning the roots. And then I'm gonna go in with this color. What color is this? Medium Gold Blonde from Chi. I'm gonna do this all over my head. So in 20 minutes, I'm gonna rinse this out. Hopefully all the brown spots that I missed are covered. If not, I'll hit them again. We're gonna tone, we're gonna dye, we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, so I am back and we're gonna tone my roots. This is Wella Color Tango Toner CT14 in Vanilla. When I was looking for toners, they really didn't have a lot of options, which was weird. You'd think they would have more, but most of them were like, a purpley color like a violet toner or they were like a rose gold toner or they were just super platinum when I saw this one it was like the darkest toner they had it should match it kind of looked like what was on the bottom of my hair there are some orange bits a little bit I don't know if you can see it but where I just bleached it there's still some orange bits which happens, so I'm gonna to tone the roots and hope that it matches the rest of the hair. I do have a Chi hair dye here. It's in medium gold blonde, but I think I'm gonna save that for another day. And we're just gonna see how this CT14 toner from Wella works out. And if I can get those orange bits out to match the rest of my hair. On camera, it all kind of looks like the same tone, but in real life, not so much. There's some orangey stuff up here. It's a little bit more orange than the rest of it. If you can see that. Yeah. So let's get started. I'm gonna put on my gloves and we will begin. I forgot to mention, it is a one-to-one -one ratio and it says to use one part uh, Wella toner to one part developer and it says for quick toning use six of volume developer and process for 10 minutes for more intense toning. With slight lift use 20 volume developer, process for 20 minutes. I've never heard of six volume developer before, that might be more of a professional thing, but I do have 10 developer from Chi and I mixed an even amount with the toner. So this is what we have. And I will just leave it on for like 10 minutes or so, just to be on the safe side. So fun fact, after bleaching my hair for like a year and dyeing it, I've never had to really use toner specifically just for the roots because most of the time the dye that I use has a toner in it, like a very platinum dye. I think I used a toner recently just to test out, but it was only on a small strand underneath, if I'm remembering correctly. And I think the other toners I used all over my head, not just the roots. So this is the first time I'm just hitting the roots to try to get it to match the rest of my hair. If I'm remembering correctly. 
I got a bad memory though. Okay, it is all in my hair. Hopefully I got it in even. If not, I have plenty left. I, because I didn't need all of that. I think it's like two ounces. But um, I'm gonna oh, wait 10 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it out and hope that it matches everything. And if not, I have some leftover so I could probably blend it in with what's there. That might look cool. Hope you're only watching this for entertainment or to see what this looks like on bleached hair and not for education <laughs> i'm not a professional here we go final look i say that did a pretty good job it is a bit lighter at top than on the bottom but you can't really tell at all um, it looks really nice. There, it did get a bit gray right here, but I feel like in this area, things tend to always get a little lighter. I don't know why, what that's about, but it'll probably, I don't know, as the weeks go on, t things tend to get more yellowy in your hair, which is what purple shampoo is for. So that'll probably fade out um, overall. It's really good. I like it. It looks nice. And I'm ready for the Barbie movie tomorrow. I'm super excited. I've heard great things. I'll come back for a mini review. Okay, I saw the movie and I thought it was excellent. Um, Barbie goes into the real world, tries to find the people, the mother and daughter who played with her. They, she brings them back into Barbie land. Chaos ensues. I won't give a full length review. You've probably already heard what it's about or seen it yourself, but I thought it was hilarious and I thought it was done great. I know some people thought it was too preachy or whatever, but I thought it was funny and it had some good points to it. And I loved it and all that pink. It's fantastic. I wore a pretty pink dress. I'll insert some pictures here and yeah. I also loved the character Alan. I thought that was a hilarious addition. So have you seen it yet? What did you think? Thank you for watching. I think my hair turned out great and stay tuned for the next video. Who knows what I'm gonna do then? Maybe put that chi golden blonde color in my hair maybe i got something from the dollar tree it's like a spray in color maybe i'll do that we shall see but thanks for watching bye